Coming up tonight on NTV News at 9, a same-sex couple files a lawsuit alleging the DHHS is violating equal protections. In many ways, Fauner Park is the heartbeat of Grand Island. Now they're developing a long-range vision that includes millions in upgrades. I'm Steve White. We'll have the details coming up. And an Amtrak shooting leaves an officer dead, two others injured. Plus, a 17-mile pipeline leaks. 126,000 gallons of crude oil leaks into the Pacific. We'll have the details on what wildlife experts are saying tonight. One Grand Island senior high student is traveling across the nation to show off his talent in an unexpected way. I'm Lauren Bentley. I'll have more coming up. Live from the NTV studio, NTV News at 9 starts right now. Evening. Thank you for joining us tonight for NTV News at 9. Let's take a live look at Grand Island as civic leaders came together this evening in that city with a nearly $30 million request. That story in just a moment. But first, Governor Pete Ricketts sharing today that he's happy with how last week's redistricting process turned out. And he dismissed calls for the process to be turned over to an independent commission after the next census. It wasn't an easy few weeks of debate before a compromise was made on the controversial legislative and congressional district maps.